Hey, y'all. So today I'm doing this video um for my girl Tan. She is so sweet, tantalizing. Um, if you don't know her or um you're not familiar, I put her link under this video so you can go check her out. Um, but I watched her video yesterday and she was venting about um going back to school and uh, financial aid and living with roommates and all this kind of good stuff so i have plenty of stories um and some helpful tips and some words of encouragement for her so that's what this video is for um so basically i want to say that saying going back to school is i'm i commend you for going back to school, I mean, it's, I mean, making this decision to even go back is a, a job in itself, you know what I'm saying, so, um, I, I commend you for that, um, it, it is hard going, actually going back into the school, um, you know, going back to school is not easy, especially when you've been working or, you know, whatever, and then you go back to school and you're like, so, I'm going to just give my little story. Um, when I graduated high school, um, I was going to go to a four-year university, but instead, I decided I wanted to do hair, so I went to hair school. And then after that, um, I worked and stuff for a year or whatever. And so then I decided to go to school. I lived on campus, and I was 21 then. So, um yeah and i lived in the freshman dorm which i didn't know i didn't have to but um i lived in the freshman dorms i'm 21 at the time with 17 18 year olds it was not an easy task it was not i was just so irritated all the time irritated just irritated i mean i felt old you know what i'm saying you're not old when you're 21 but i by me being around 17 18 year olds like i felt so old you know, and I felt like, what what am I really doing? You know what I'm saying? I didn't have any friends, you know, in the area, whatever. It just, oh, and, you know, um, I eventually met people and everything, but um, it just, it wasn't the most easiest thing. And I didn't party or anything, and I still did horrible. <laughs> I don't get that part, but um, I guess I went into college thinking that I could do the same thing I did in high school, which was, you know, I listened while I'm in class, and, you know, I was good, like, I could take a test, and I was good, like, I didn't have to study and stuff, so, um, <clears throat> when I went into college, I didn't think I had to study, but um, but, so anyway, um, second semester, we got, um, on-campus apartment. When my me and my roommate from freshman year we got along, um, so it was me, her, and one of our mutual friends that we met, you know, while we lived on campus, and so it was basically four females to an apartment, two bedroom, one and a half bath. Girl, when I tell you the story, oh my god, like they range from. You know, my the the one girl, the one girl, like against us three friends, like she did so much underhanded crap, you know what I'm saying? And like the police would call, you know, um, you know, she she didn't clean. She did I mean she did vindictive things. You know what I'm saying? So my my whole thing my whole take on the living situation because I had, I had did, you know, I had got my GPA up and everything, but once this whole drama situation happened, and I'm talking like one of her friends, one of her friends came to our house and threatened all three of us, told us he was going to go down and get the gun and shoot all our asses up. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you have all that tension, and we had to go, like, peer mediation and all this kind of stuff because I was going to be her ass and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, well. But... You know, like, all this drama going on, I said I will never, 
ever, 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 ever as long as I live. When I'm in school, I will not be living with any younger people than I am. Not for real. I mean, unless I'm related to you. Um, and people that you don't know, it just... Oh, God. Yeah. So, um... I mean, like, the stories range from her having parties, okay, and me and my three friends, we were out or whatever, but we come back, and we think she got video footage of what happened, she, she thought we were cool then, and so she was like, oh, come look at the video and see what happened, I mean, these people was all over our house, they had vomit all over the floor, Go to the bathroom, and old girl is floating in the water, okay, drunk, passed out in our tub, full of us. Like, who, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, where do they do that at? And then on the video, she had hugged the girl who was in the tub, and this guy that we know on campus had a sex in, or, well, basically, in our living room, in the kitchen, and in my other friend's bedroom. I would not do Craigslist, not. Um, what I would do, I would rather, if I were you, I would rather go to the school and have them pick somebody than, oh. Also, I think living on campus can be okay, okay? But if you don't already know somebody, Maybe you can, um, you know, go on through the school's website. Like, you could type in on Facebook. I don't know if you have a Facebook, but on Facebook, they have where you can um, put the school in and you can find students that go there. And maybe you can, like, converse with them a little bit and see, you know, if they look for a roommate and just talk to them or whatever and get a feel for them or whatever and see if maybe, you know, y'all would mix or whatever. Um, and do it that way if you want to live on campus. Um, I know this coming spring, I'm going back to a four university. I have stopped going to the school that I was talking about because of finance aid and just all kinds of problems. You know, just all kinds of problems. I, finance aid people, they just really work my nerves. They, I really understand what they're talking about because they act like they this money is coming out their pockets. Sweetheart. Last time I looked, this said direct loan, okay, this said Pell Grant, you know what I'm saying, this didn't say, you know, the secretary over financial aid, or something. you know what I'm saying, like, these good ladies just really be giving it to me for my life, and I don't even be asking for it, you know what I'm saying, and so, like, I did look at, um, one of the other, um, ladies her video response to your um, video and she's right as long as you know everything there is to know well not everything but look up a lot of things about financial aid and stuff and when you come to them asking them things as long as you know a good bit of something they will be more likely to help you you know because I can't stand the little attitude sweetheart if you don't want a job sweetheart there's plenty of people who want the job you know what I'm saying? Like, all you have to do is tell me when my financial aid is being dispersed. All you have to tell me is what other steps I need to, you know what I'm saying? I need to do what sheet I need to fill out and bring to you guys. Like, why do they act like this is, um, rocket science and, like, they, like I said, like, this money is coming out their pocket. You know, I don't be for the attitude, all the attitudes they have or whatever. You know, and... <sighs> Another thing, sometimes you might want to, um, sometimes you might want to talk to them through email. Sometimes that's better. Um, and let me tell you something else. I'll talk to, um, my actual counselor. I, I, I think every school has it like that, like an actual financial aid counselor. I don't want to talk to another student because, sweetheart, you probably don't know more than I do. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> And see if you can find your counselor, like go on the school website and see if you can find your actual counselor. And um, I will actually email her and talk to her, her or him. That's what I do. Well, that's what I do. And that works out so much better. 
Um, but I would back to the living situation. I would recommend living on campus just because you won't have that many more distractions as far as you having to drive back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And all this kind of stuff. You'll be on campus already. You know, you, I think I think it'll just be better if you stay on campus. But if you stay on campus, here's some tips that I'm doing myself. I'm not living in no dorm. I'm living in an apartment, but it will not be a four-bedroom apartment. It will not be a two-bedroom apartment with four girls. Okay? They have it where they have, um, you get one-bedroom apartment. It's a little bit more, but, I mean, it's so worth it because it's like your own place. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you could do that, do that. They have two bedrooms. Um, two bedrooms for two people. Um, two bathroom, kitchen, stuff like that. Check into that. I would definitely check into that. Um, I'm listening on to how I would do it. One bedroom, two bedroom. And if you absolutely have to, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know it can be expensive. I would do the, um, four bedroom. Because it's four separate bedrooms, but it's, um, basically it's two people on each side. So it's, um, the kitchen and living room right here in the middle and then you have two separate bedrooms on each side and a bathroom on each side so you know you have your lock and everything but um so each person has a lock to their own door and the side like you know the two people on each the two people on each side they have one bathroom so you know you you would just basically have one person to deal with even though it's three people living in there I mean that's my last resort if I was you um that would be my last resort too um because like I said I'm 26 I'm 26 and I live in Virginia but I'm about to move to Atlanta and I'm about to finish out my schooling at Clark now this is the thing here okay I don't really have that much family or family that I want to involve in this whole endeavor so, I'm going to have to stay on campus at least for one semester because, you know, you got to have six months job experience and all. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to live on campus, but I'm only doing the um, two, two bedroom. If I have to, if I absolutely have to, I'll do the four bedroom, but I'm, I can do, I can do with another person. But, you know, I just don't want all that drama, all that drama, because your living situation that's serious, you know. And I mean, you know, you never know when you're gonna have inclement weather. So that's why I was like, maybe living on campus will be better. Because I know you say you don't drive in the rain and stuff, and I surely don't blame you. But um, I know with me, you know, sometimes I don't see that happening now. You know what I'm saying? But I used to make up excuses just so I wasn't going to school. <laughs> You know, it could be a weather. Oh, it's snowing. I'm, I can't go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because hey, we used to flood real bad on campus, too. It's raining. Mm-mm. I'm not. No. No. You know, or it's windy. Oh, no. It's windy. I am not about to do. You know what I'm saying? So, if you already on campus, it makes it, to me, it makes it that much more easier to just be like, look, I can sit in class for an hour or, you know, whatever, an hour and a half or whatever. Let me just go ahead and go to class, get it over with, and come back. You know, the age thing, I'm dealing with that myself too. But, um, don't let that worry me. Seriously. I'm not gonna let it worry me. You know what I'm saying? At least you are getting yourself together. You're getting your schooling out the way. You know what you wanna do. And that was my problem too I didn't know I mean it's like I knew what I wanted to do but I kept majoring in all these other things because I thought that's what I wanted to do I mean I went from psychology to sociology to law to law to well I didn't officially change my education but and then my major now which is um communications and journalism so yeah always here and you can just contact me. Um, yeah. <laughs>